Hello, Christina Rowe here from Standout Media Group, and we're back in Builderall. And I want to show you, following up on our last video series on how to create a simple opt-in funnel, um, how to connect, your, we were talking about this a little bit, how to connect to an external autoresponder other than Mailboss, which comes with Builderall. So we're going to go to our site. We've logged in. We went here to our new sites, our site, excuse me, in drag and drop builder, my sites, and I'm here. So I'm just going to go over here to this one we were working on and click on edit. I'll just wait for this to load for one second. There it goes. Okay, actually, this is not the same site, but I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> this is actually the site you'll be seeing when you're watching this video. Um, so how we would do this just on, if I were going to use this site, for example, and this is in a site that I'm putting videos on. Here's the one, build a simple opt-in funnel, and I'm going to be changing these and editing. By the time um, you get to this, you'll be actually on the site. So I can just drag these videos down here um, that I created. But um, let's say... I want to add in an opt-in to this page um, and I want to add it in from an external platform like Aweber or MailChimp. So I'm going to click on this green button here and I'm going to go to email marketing. Okay, so I'm going to pick this form here and I'm going to now drag this over to here. And now I want to configure this and I want to integrate this, this is so easy into any one of these services. Now MailChimp comes with this, it's free. I mean a mailing boss, you can use this, but let's say I want to use my MailChimp. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to my MailChimp account. I'm going to log in and I'm going to grab the API. And I'm going to show you how to do this if you're doing MailChimp. Um, any of these things it's like a Weber or, or um, some of the other ones that they offer there, they're all going to have the same thing. They're going to want you to get something called an API um, key. And we're going to look here and see where we can find that. So we're going to go into here and let's go into account see if we can find it here. Okay. And I always think it's in here. And for some reason I always go here and I don't think it is in here. Okay, let's see. Okay, nope, these are these here. Um, it's actually in here, in extras. So I go to API, and in this API, I'm going to get a new code. You see I have a number of them I've created for other websites. So I'm going to click on Create a Key, and I'm just going to go down here and grab this brand new key that's been created right here. And I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to go back over here. And I'm just going to drop this into here like so. And now I'm going to click log in. And now it's going to ask me which um, list I already have set up in my MailChimp that I want to connect this to. So I'm just going to stick this one here. And like so. And there you go. I can move this up. Now, of course, we got to remember to always save. So now what's happening on this page here is that I have this email box in here. Um, and like we saw, you could change the color of the buttons and everything and, and play around with this. And I can actually use this now with MailChimp. So let me go back to, let's see how it looks. Again, this is going to be, I'm not going to even look at this one on mobile because I have to configure all these videos. Um, but let me go back to... Let's see, nope, let me do that and save. And let me go back over to here and see the first one, the test site that we did here. And this is what I was trying to click on when I clicked on the wrong one. Okay, so the test site here already came in the template with the actual opt-in box on it. If you remember, we had this here and we can configure it. So now when we click on it, let's just move it and drag it out or we can move it back here if we wanted to get a different color. Um, let's right click on it. And then when we configure, this is what we were we were messing with last time having this problem. So I'm just going to um, delete this and get rid of it. And I'm going to go here and grab email marketing. And I'm going to grab this one again. 
I'm going to put it in here like so. And now I'm going to configure it and see now this is what I was looking for in the other videos. Here we go. Again, it wants me to put in that key to log in. I'm logging in and bringing up my lists and I'm going to grab this and there you go all done and we can I believe we can resize this a bit uh, bring it down uh, there's probably we can work on it a little bit here and um, move this other stuff down here like if we don't have as much text here if we don't need all this text here you can always delete it and I can move this up like so and then move this and that's what I again I like about this the drag and drop option and I can grab this and bring it down and now I have a really nice opt-in here so that's how you connect to an external platform like a um, a web or a MailChimp or um, any of the other ones that you saw come up if you don't want to use the uh, mail mailing mail boss that's right built into builder all